All right, everyone, uh, welcome to the second part of the video for section 2.3, continuing on uh, looking at some more examples of application type problems that involve linear functions. Okay, so in this problem, uh, we're told that the medium home value values in Mississippi and Hawaii, adjusted for inflation, are shown below. Um, we're going to assume that these values change uh, linearly, which means they change according to a uh, linear function or linear rate. Okay, and you can see those values in the table there. And so then we have three um, things we need to do. So in the first one, it says, in which state have home values increased at a higher rate? And we see that, uh, that word rate there, right? Since we're talking about linear functions, we know that the rate that... Uh, is connected to those as a rate of change or a slope, right? So that means that for each of these, we need to figure out the slope or the rate of change, and then we're gonna look at which one has increased faster, right? Okay, so let's start with Mississippi, which I did MI, but I think that's Michigan. I need to do MS for Mississippi, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and then we know that to find a slope, slope or rate of change, we need to have two points. So we're gonna get some points from the Mississippi data. Also notice they've given us years here, right? And if you recall from earlier videos or from um, one of your prereq practices, when we're doing uh, these types of problems involving years, it is often helpful to um, look at them as years since a certain value, a certain day or date. And since the first date I see here is 1950, I'm gonna use that as my starting value. And so in this case, my two points for Mississippi, I'm gonna have zero comma 25,200. Okay, zero meaning zero years since 1950. That's when the house value is for 25,200. And then for 2000, I'm gonna do 50, since it's 50 years since 1950, and then 71,400, okay? And we can use these values in our um, calculation for slope. Okay, so we could do our y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I'm um, just gonna plug those in as in, as in. so we have 71,400 minus 25, 200, all over 50 minus zero equals, we subtract the two top numbers. So the 71, 400 minus 25, 200, that gives us 46, 200, 50 minus zero gives us 50. And we divide by 50 there, we end up with 924. And let's also think about our units here, right? So these were all dollars. These were years. So our units here are going to be dollars per year, right? So the in Mississippi, the home value is increased at a rate of $924 per year. Okay, so that's our rate of change. Erase this up so I have room for the other one. Okay, so for Mississippi, we had $924 per year. Now let's look for Hawaii, which I believe is HI. Again, just as before, let's make some points. So using the years and the home values, and again, we're gonna do years since 1950. First point would be zero comma 74,400. Second point would be 50 comma 272,700. Plug these into our slope formula. So we have M equals 272,700 minus 74,400. I'm going to run out of room. Sorry. Let me try to make this fit a little bit better. 272700 minus 
74, 400. Okay, divided by 50 minus 0. So that'll give us, let's see, 198, 300 over 50, which dividing those gives us 3,966. Again, our units should still be the same here, so these are still dollars per year, right? So if we compare those two values, so the $3,966 per year and the $924 per year, it looks like that the homes have increased at a higher rate in Hawaii. Okay. All right. Um, let's look at the next question. And it has to do with Mississippi. So I'm going to leave the rate of change for Mississippi there. And we're, uh, we're asked, if these trends were to continue, what would be the median ho home value in Mississippi in 2010? Okay, so I'm gonna make some predictions for the future. Now this is an example of a problem where we should try to set up a, an equation. And since we know we're talking about linear equations, we'll use the f of x equals mx plus b. And we already know the value for M, right? We already calculated that. That's the 924. And we need to find the value for B. And normally we would pick a point, plug it in with the slope and solve for B. But I also maintain we actually already know this value. And what would this value be? Right, that's gonna be the 25,200, right? Because recall that we said that 1950 was our starting year. Then another way to th think about B here is the starting value. So in our calculations here, the starting value for the home prices in Mississippi was 25,200. So that's gonna be our value for B. And then we can use X and F of X, but here notice that the um, variables or the numbers we're working with are home values and years, right? So I'm actually going to use, instead of X, I'm gonna use Y as my input value to represent years. And then V as my output value to represent uh, home values. So we have V of Y equals 924Y plus 25200, okay? Now we'll use that to find the home values in 2010. And recall, we're not gonna plug in 2010 here because we didn't define our variable y here as years or like a, a an actual year we we have it defined as years since something right and in fact in this case it's years since what right years since 1950 and since we're talking about 2010 how many years is that after 1950 right that would be 60 so we do v of 60 plug in 60 for y And when we do that, we end up with 80,640. And since these are home values, right, that uh, units on that would be dollars. Okay, so our predicted um, medium home value in Mississippi in 2002 10, excuse me, would be $80,640. All right, now part C. If we assume the linear trend existed before 1950 and continues after 2000, the two states' median house values will be or were equal in what year? Okay, we're told the answer might be absurd, so that'll be something to keep in mind. So again, here we wanna find out when two things are the same and we're working with linear functions, so we probably wanna do what? That's right, we want to find uh, linear functions to represent the values for both states and then set them equal to and solve. And so uh, we already know the one for Mississippi. So that's our V of Y equals 924Y plus 25,200. Okay, we also need to set up a similar equation for Hawaii. OK, 
Okay, we have to recall the slope we got for Hawaii, which I don't recall, so I have to calculate it here really quickly. Okay, so it looks like that was 399966. Nine, nine, six, six. So our V of Y here would be 3966Y plus, remember the value for B, it's the starting value. So the, um, the home prices for Hawaii in 1950, which in this case would be 74,400. Okay, so now we have our two equations and we know to figure out whether they're the same, we're going to set them equal to one another. Okay, so we're gonna have nine, 924y plus 25,200 equals 3,966y plus 7,400, uh, okay? We'll solve that. I'm not gonna do it all the way out right now because I know you guys can figure this out. Uh, And let's see, when we work this out, we end up with y equals negative 16.173. And let's also remember the units there is our years. Hold up. Negative years? How did we get that? And why does that make any sense? Hmm. Well, first of all, Notice that when we started this thing, right, in 1950, who had the higher home values? Well, Hawaii did. And 2000, who has the higher home values? Well, Hawaii still does. So it looks like from 1950 to 2000, the home values of Hawaii were always higher than the home values from Mississippi. So when could the home values in Mississippi have been equal to the home values in Hawaii. Right, it would have to be before 1950, right? Which is why we have this negative here, because we're talking about years before 1950, because remember Y here means years since 1950, and negative 16.173 means years before 1950. And the question we're trying to answer here is asking us, uh, in what year? So we actually want to know the year, not how many years. So what will we do? Well, since 1950 is our kind of our baseline, we'll take this answer here, this negative 16.173 and add it. And we get, do that, we get 1933.827. So it looks like the home values were the same between the two states in 1933. Okay. All right, that's it for right now. Thank you for watching.